We are now going to look at section 23, capital H. It's an important section. It's also a popular section for exams. This is to do with prepaid expenditure. Now, let's quickly just talk about prepaid expenditure before I even jump in here. Let's give ourselves a little company again, X Limited. X Limited has a tax year, or a financial year, which is obviously a tax year, that runs from January until December. Let's make it nice and simple. Okay, so then, on the 1st of August, X Limited paid its rent for the next 12 months the total was 60,000 rands so that means 5,000 rands per month okay so what is important here I just want everybody to understand and get on the same page the first of August over here is where we are Paying, and we'll be paying it up until the end of July of the next year. So what I want you to see is August until December, August, September, October, November, December. Five months is in the current year. And seven months has been prepaid. Very quickly. From an accounting perspective, you will debit, rent expense, credit bank, or credit bank of 60,000. You will debit the rent expense, which is five months, five times 5,000, so 25,000. And you will debit prepaid expenses, 35,000. That's for the seven months. Remember, this prepaid expenses sits in our statement of financial position. Okay, now, so what goes into our income statement or statement of comprehensive income? The rent expense for the current year. Now, if we go and look at section 23H, section 23H says that if you make a prepaid, if you do a prepaid expense like what we did in this example, section 23H says it will not be allowed as a deduction. That is the starting point. So understand what section 23H says, it's not allowed. Section 23H applies to everything that happens in the general deduction formula. So guys, that is very broad. Everything under legal costs, all of repairs, and also section 11, capital A, pre-trade expenditure. Other amounts, like for example, wear and tear, section 11E, bad debts, provision for doubtful debts, those sort of things, they obviously don't feature in there. Hey, but then, important. So section 23H tells us that only the amount that relates to the current year will be allowed as a deduction. Now, if I go back to this example I've been using, if we were doing a tax calculation, as our rents column, we'd say up to this point, rent expense, current year, that's section 11A, general deduction formula, 25,000 rands, and that would be allowed as a deduction. The 35,000 prepaid would not be allowed thus far. But then you'll see section 23H gives us some provisos that will allow the deduction of prepaid expenditure. And here it goes. It says, provided that this, the provisions of this section shall not apply, this section says you may not claim prepaid expenses. So if this section does not apply, it means you may claim prepaid expenses. So thus, you may claim prepaid expenses if these requirements are met. Okay, so the first one is, it says we... All the goods or services are to be supplied or rendered within six months after the end of the year of assessment in which the expenditure was incurred or such person have the full benefit of the expenditure. Okay, now, let me explain to you just quickly what that means. I'm going to add one extra example here. 
on 1 may x limited paid its security fees for the next 12 months at a total of 24,000 rands so 2,000 rands per month okay this is just an example again guys first of May that means first of May the prepaid will happen, uh, run until the 30th of April next year. So, from May until December falls in our tax year, that's eight months. The prepaid portion from December until April is four months prepaid. Right, just in this little example I've used. Now, the moment that the prepaid portion there is six months or less so one month two months three months four months five months or six months the moment it is one of those you are allowed to claim it as a deduction the full amount All right so that's what we see over here deduct if the prepaid is six months or less the amount is relevant so it can be a billion rands that you've prepaid doesn't matter you're allowed to claim it BB then says, where the aggregate of all amounts of expenditure incurred by such person, which would otherwise be limited by this section, does not exceed 100,000 rands. Okay, so what this means is they say, if you take all of your prepaid expenses, prepaid expenses, number one, two, three, four, right, whatever those amounts are. They say, first, in AA, we identify the ones which are for six months or less. So let's just quickly, I'm just going to explain to you quickly. Um, prepaid months. Prepaid amount. Okay. So let's say the first one is prepaid four months in advance. And that amount of the prepayment is 500,000. The next one is prepaid eight months into advance, and the prepaid amount there is 60,000. Next one, five months, and the prepaid there is 700,000. And the next one, prepaid nine months, and the prepaid is 30,000. Okay, so what I want you to see is, so here's my prepaid expenses, number one, two, three, four. Number one has been prepaid four months, number two has been prepaid eight months, number three, five months, and number four, nine months. The amount of that prepayment, so that four months, is worth 500,000, those eight months, 60,000, etc. Okay, so to apply section 23H, it basically first starts with saying none of this is deductible. But then it says, okay, let's look at this proviso. So let's look at AA. Identify everything that is six months or less. That's this one. And this one. Now, those two amounts, the 500 and the 700,000, 1.2 million rands, There's, that amount may be allowed as a deduction. Can you see that's more than 100,000? Doesn't matter. We only look at the amounts of prepaid. Then, after you've now identified these ones which may, may be prepaid, you will exclude them from your calculation. Right. You are then left with the 60,000 and the 30,000. Now, if you add those two amounts up, it's 90,000. If that total of everything that you've added up is less than 100,000, so it doesn't exceed 100,000, 100,000 or less, you can claim those amounts as a deduction. Okay? While I've got this on, I'm going to just ad ad adopt it here. Let's assume that this was 130,000 that you received. Not, or prepaid, sorry. That means the total is 190,000. I look at that total and I compare that to 100,000 rands. Is that more than 100,000? Yes, it is. Then I can't deduct that one and I can't deduct that one either. So you don't look at the individual and say that's 60,000. You have to look at the total because the Act tells us where the aggregate of all amounts, which is 
otherwise limited. This otherwise limited means I remove the ones which you've already claimed as a deduction because they have not been limited. So that is section 23H. So here's the process here at the bottom, this little flow thing. You will first calculate what is the current year amounts and deduct it. Then you will identify all of the prepaid amounts, the ones which are six months or less, deduct. Then add up everything else which is left. So these are all of the ones which are more than six months. If the total of all of them is greater than 100,000, there's no deduction. If it's less than 100,000, there is a deduction.